This is SK, and this is a commentary. And today I have a more for you, you know, enjoy, enjoy, I thought why not, no MW3 in a long time, so let's get some MW3. And this is about the console war, the console war, how are you saying the console war, the console war's over, dickhead, oh yeah, no, no, not about that, I just mean, you know, obviously, when you think about it, what has happened, what has transpired, obviously, after the consoles have come out, was that war really worth it? You know, people just bitching about, oh, this is better, this is better than that, that's better just because it's got that. You know, was it really worth it? I mean, from, I've been watching a couple of videos, and, you know, people have done reviews, and basically from the verdict that I've actually gathered, everyone is just saying that next gen was a letdown. They're just saying, you know, it's a disappointment. I mean, you know. Both of them are expensive, obviously one's like more expensive than the other, but at the end of the day they're both expensive. They don't really do that much, I mean it hasn't really been that life changing. The technology we've seen in these two next gen consoles haven't really been life changing like the previous gen was, like you know, the PS1 and the Xbox transition, when that transitioned over to the 360 and the PS3, you could probably say that was revolutionary, or maybe not, but at the end of the day that was a very big 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 ass step like big black ass like big black ass step that's the type of step that that took and you know we saw some big changes and we were happy and you know people were hyped but now from the 360 to the 1 to the 3 to the 4 we're not really eh you know no one's really bothered they just bought the consoles then they're like yeah I've got it now what what are we gonna get? What's going to happen? Um. Yeah, but anyway, people. Nevertheless, that's just the console one. To be honest, I am planning, still planning to obviously get my Xbox One. I mean, I've heard that it's as slow as flip. It takes absolute years to send a message. The 360 is faster and all that stuff. But you know, I am still sticking to my decision of the Xbox One because you know. I'm a lazy guy and you know I, I won't really mind doing the voice commands you know for films and stuff because I will actually be using my Xbox One for like everything gaming and, and you know just entertainment as a whole obviously watching films and stuff like that but if you do have the next gen consoles PS3, Xbox One, PS3, Xbox One, fool anyway PS4 and Xbox One let me know how you're enjoying it you know if you're enjoying it because I haven't really seen any of my YouTube buddies, you know, that actually have the console, you know, they haven't really done a review, they just said, yeah, I've got it, and that's it, but you know what, let me know, are you actually enjoying it, do you think it was actually worth the money, and yeah, I've always enjoyed this MOAB, I can't believe I've not uploaded them really free in time, unfortunately I get the MOAB right here, I don't even get to call it in, this is SK, and I'm out, see ya.